welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 3. We are back on the victory after our last mission, and, well, the war is probably getting pretty close to its end. We have tested the Templar bomb, and it works. We destroyed an entire planet. Now all we have to do is find a way to get that to kill her off, and we should be good. So, all we gotta do now is nuke Kilra, and I can get back to some serious test piloting. Something like that. Gotta tell you, I'm surprised I survived all these missions. Surprised you too, I bet, huh? I have to admit, he's a damn... Yeah, you hung tough. I gotta hand you that. A couple more people that we can go and talk to. That T bomb something, ain't it, Colonel? It's unique. I can smell the end, sir. With a weapon like that, well, if that doesn't do it, nothing will. Maybe our grandchildren won't have to fight this war after all. Well, in any case, I want you to know that I've learned a lot from you. Well, you can return the favor when I visit your cantina. Maybe teach me to play that guitar. <laughs> and we have one more we can talk to. I've been to just about every corner of every galaxy, and it's been a hell of a ride. What's this? Weepy nostalgia from the hardened card chart? <laughs> well, it's just that I've been thinking. Here on the Victory, for the first time, I feel like I put down some roots. He really deserves You've been a good influence on the rest of us. You don't take yourself too seriously, and you're a damn good pilot. Thank you, sir. You're not so bad yourself. How about a quick hand of cards? <laughs> okay, you can basically see that the attitude among, along the ship is has gotten much more positive. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that we thought that basically we were going to get our asses kicked and there's nothing that we can do about it. Colonel, let's go over the mission, shall we? Yes, sir. We're jumping back into Hyperion. Confed's decided it's a good staging area, and we're building up a fleet there. Apparently, the Karathi have got wind of this build-up. We're going to be escorting the big boys. Good luck, Carl. Oh, we only have four left. Of course, Hobbs and Cobra. Cobra's dead. Hobbs is gone, and Flint won't fly with Blair anymore, so... Okay, we're just going to go and fly to two or three waypoints and take out the enemy fighters. We're also going to find capital ships in these areas. Got those insights, sir. Break and attack. Andale, let's dance. So let's see if we can do this without getting our wingmen killed. That guy put up a surprisingly good fight. And we have a destroyer. These things aren't terribly tough. Shouldn't be too hard to take it out. My 
course, being on easy helps. Oh, what the hell happened to the ghetto? Did he die? Oh, he's disappeared. I didn't send him home or anything. He's gone. He might have gotten shot down. That'll happen. Yeah, he's not here. Oh well. Lost a pilot, I think. It's possible that he ejected and he'll be waiting on the victory for us, but... Uh, I think there's a pretty good shot that he's gone. Now, I'm pretty sure we do not actually have to destroy all of the capital ships, because we're not really flying a ship that's good for taking out capital ships. We're fighting one of, using one of the Hellcats. A, like a, a Thunderbolt or a Longbow would be great because it carries the torpedoes. Or an Excalibur would be good because of that, um, that Tachyon gun that it has. It's really good for taking out large ships. But, uh, eh, we'll make, we'll make do with what we have. That's a carrier. These things are tough. These things are very tough. There are also friendly capital ships in these areas that we have to be careful that we don't not let get not let get destroyed. But they'll also help us take out the enemy capital ships if you let them. So there you go. Of course, they're going to get surrounded by the uh, enemy fighters if you don't pay attention to any of that. Okay, we can actually leave right now if we wanted to, but that would leave the enemy carrier intact. Ah! Cap, cap, cap missile, cap missile, cap missile. Got it. Might be out of range. You tell me they don't have any fighters left that they can launch against us? Seems a little bit weird. Okay, that's down. Like, for example, if I am on... If I'm facing the bow of the ship, the front of the ship, uh, but where I am... Like, here, that's the bow of the ship. But if I shoot along the side here, like right there, that would actually be hitting the starboard side of the ship. But it would only damage the front, because I was facing it from the front. I think that's the way it works. A little bit weird, I guess kind of primitive. I mean, you can't fault them too much considering how old this old, the old this game is, but, you know. Okay, we gotta protect our capital ship here. Them guys are making a bombing run. I think this is on easy. Cruiser! Enemy target destroyed. Okay, Ajax. I guess we could leave now, but we have a cruiser! Take it out! See, I was I, even though I was shooting the side, it took the shields out in the front, because I was the direction I was facing was more in the front. And I'm continuing to damage the front, I think, even if even though I'm firing weirdly on the side like this. The Ajax will actually take this thing out, I believe. I go down. 
Okay, yes. Okay, Ajax took that out. Wow, look at all the weapons pods on that thing. No wonder that thing kicked its ass. What's your status? Damn it. Sit pretty, sir. Gotta keep so we gotta stop doing that. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Boy, those cap ships sure blast some fireworks, don't they, sir? Looks like we live by another day though. We cleared the land. 